Cerebralysin, Composition, Mechanism of Action, Best Alternatives and FAQs. Hey there cosmonauts and nootropic enthusiasts. In this video, we're going to talk about a very popular peptide compound, Cerebrolysin. First, let me tell you what Cerebrolysin is. Cerebrolysin is a neuropeptide nootropic drug. Its main effects are neuroprotection and neurorestoration. In other words, Cerebrolysin is a neurometabolic stimulator which is based on low molecular weight biologically active neuropeptides and amino acids, which are isolated from pig brain tissue. The producer of Cerebrolysin is an Austrian company, Everpharma. It specializes in manufacturing high-quality products in the field of neurology and emergency conditions. Besides, it also provides clinically approved nutritional supplements to support memory function and enhance mental performance. For example, Memoprove that we will talk about later in this video. Cerebrolysin by Everpharma comes in injection form only. Because it is the most optimal way of getting the neuropeptides to penetrate the blood-brain barrier and to enter the nerve cells of the brain. Now, what is Cerebrolysin used for? Its indications include many cerebral conditions. Cerebrolysin is used in the following cases. Strokes and stroke complications. Alzheimer's disease and other types of dementia. Traumatic brain injuries, TBI. Spinal cord injuries. ADHD in children antidepressant-resistant depressions, and so on. Let's delve into the history of Cerebrolysin creation. It was developed back in 1949 by an Austrian professor, Gerhard Herrer. This prominent scientist discovered that during the enzymatic hydrolysis of brain tissue, substances are formed that have a stimulating effect on nerve cells and that regulate brain disorders. In subsequent years, the number of publications on the clinical use of Cerebrolysin significantly increased. You can find the list of the most recent and relevant studies in the description to this video. You may rightfully wonder if it is safe to use Cerebrolysin. The answer is yes. Cerebrolysin injections are generally safe and well tolerated. Commonly reported adverse reactions from Cerebrolysin are transient and mild in intensity. Nowadays, Cerebrolysin can be officially used as a treatment for various cerebral disorders in more than 50 countries, mostly in Europe and Asia. For example, in Austria, the homeland of Cerebrolysin, it's included in the Neurorehabilitation After Stroke Guidelines. In Russia, it has been used since the early 1970s, and it is in the list of vital and essential drugs. And Cerebrolysin is also approved in Canada in the Stroke Treatment Guidelines. Let me explain how Cerebrolysin actually works in the body, i.e. let's talk about its mechanism of action. The basic action of Cerebrolysin is the activation of endogenous defense mechanisms, which include four main components listed here. Number one, neurotrophics. Number two, neuroprotection. Number three, neuroplasticity. And number four, neurogenesis. The pathophysiological mechanisms targeted by Cerebrolysin belong to two distinct categories. The first one is the support of endogenous repair and recovery processes after brain injury or degenerative disease. And the second one is protection against pathological events and cascades caused by an injury or a disease. Cerebrolysin injections were shown to modify two major signaling pathways. Number one, the neurotrophic factor, NTF and number two, the sonic hedgehog signaling pathway. These pathways regulate the cellular processes of neurogenesis, angiogenesis, dendritic arborization, axonal sprouting, myelination, and remodeling of the neurovascular unit on a molecular level. That supports the maintenance and repair of the neuronal network. The pathological events and cascades after stroke or trauma may compromise motor and cognitive functions, in the early post-acute phase, cerebrolysin prevents the formation of toxic protein aggregates, amyloidosis, and lowers the level of inflammatory processes. Another feature of cerebrolysin is the low molecular weight composition. It lets cerebrolysin easily pass through the blood-brain barrier and go directly to the nerve cells. This is the difference between the action of cerebrolysin and NGF or nerve growth factor or BDNF, 
brain-derived nerve factor. Their large molecules cannot cross the blood-brain barrier, and as a result, unlike cerebrolysin, they have an extremely low therapeutic potential. Another interesting aspect of cerebrolysin is its composition. Let's look at it closer. Frankly speaking, the exact composition of cerebrolysin is still unknown. Studies have shown that purified cerebrolysin contains more than 100 oligopeptides and protein motifs, with a molecular weight of up to 5,800 DA. The result of cerebrolysin composition research was the discovery of oligopeptides vital for the neurochemistry of the brain. Let's name a few of them. First of all, the drug contains glutathione tripeptide. It's a widespread antioxidant oligopeptide that participates in redox reactions. Another one is enkephalin motif. This is its amino acid sequence. It regulates pain sensitivity, sexual behavior, motivation, and adaptation processes. A stable collagen motif of brain-supporting proteins was also found in cerebrolysin. The motif can be used to reconstruct damaged and synthesize new supporting collagen and other proteins. Cerebrolysin also has a vitamin-like activity, in particular vitamins B1, B12, E, and folates. Cerebrolysin also contains amino acids necessary for the brain recovery. Here is a list of amino acids in cerebrolysin. Alanine, arginine, aspartic acid, valine, histidine, glycine, glutamic acid, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, proline, serine, threonine, tryptophan, phenylalanine. And finally, the preparation contains trace elements or microelements, like sulfur, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, lithium, selenium, zinc, tin, cobalt, silicon, iron, copper, manganese, chrome, and so on. Quite impressive, right? We often get asked how to take cerebrolysin. The answer to this question largely depends on your condition. Obviously, the optimal dosage and route of administration must be prescribed by an attending physician. The most common regime for cognitive improvement is intramuscular injections of 5 ml once daily. It's important to inject slowly because it might be a bit sensitive. You may want to cycle cerebrolysin in the following manner. 5 days on, 2 days off. As far as the treatment doses are concerned, they vary from 10 to 50 ml. However, you must also remember that cerebrolysin is not a cure-all, and it should be regarded as an adjunct to the standard treatment only, especially when it comes to acute conditions like stroke and TBI or dementia. In this slide, you will find the official dosage recommendations for cerebrolysin producer. Please remember that sterility precautions must be taken when making injections. There are some frequently asked questions about cerebrolysin we'd like to answer in this video. The first one is about cerebrolysin alternatives. Cortexin. The first peptide that comes to mind is cortexin. It is the most popular alternative to cerebrolysin. Similar to cerebrolysin, cortexin is based on neuropeptides and amino acids. But there is a difference. Cortexin has a significantly larger amount of peptide fractions and fewer amino acids. Another difference is that cerebrolysin is produced from pig brains only, while cortexin is extracted mostly from young horned cattle. You may also wonder if cortexin and cerebrolysin can be used together. Well, medical experts do not consider it effective to combine these drugs but quite often doctors recommend to use them in succession or alternate the courses. Memoprove and PEP12. Let's move on to another alternative to cerebrolysin, which is actually produced by the same company that manufactures cerebrolysin. It's called Memoprove or NPEP12. Memoprove is a pig brain derived peptide blend with a vast research base. As I said, both compounds are produced by the Austrian company Ever Pharma, and the composition of Memoprove is actually very similar to Cerebrolysin. Some people even call Memoprove Cerebrolysin pills. 
It is indeed a good option for those who are unwilling to take injections. But please note that Memoprove is a food supplement, which means that it is not designed to treat any disease, and it is less effective compared to cerebrolysin peptide. Another popular question is, what is the difference between cerebrolysin and P21? Let's start with saying that it is actually not quite right to compare these two products. Let's see why. First of all, P21 is an artificially synthesized peptide, while cerebrolysin is not. And P21 is not officially used as a medicine in any country. Cerebrolysin, on the other hand, is a complex of essential substances. In fact, it also has P21 in its composition. But besides that, it also contains neuropeptides, amino acids, and minerals. And it has been successfully and officially used in many countries for several decades. So, before taking any off-label forms of preparation, always remember about their benefit-risk ratio and consult with your doctor prior to use. Can taking cerebrolysin cause prion disease? Some people are concerned whether it is possible to get infected with prions by taking medications of animal origin. First of all, it's important to note that cerebrolysin is derived from pig brain only, in which no prion diseases have been identified so far. Besides, the biological safety of cerebrolysin is ensured by specially developed procedures that meet the requirements of the European Medicines Agency and the European Pharmacopeia which minimizes the risk of transmitting animal agents via medicinal products. More than that, raw materials taken from young healthy animals undergo the most stringent selection, and it is of course used only after confirming viral safety. We must remember that the production of cerebrolysin is based on modern technological processes that make it possible to completely exclude peptides with a molecular weight of more than 10 kDa from the final preparation. Well, as it is known, the molecular weight of prions is 33 to 35 kDa. It is also important to note that the cerebrolysin dry extract is just an intermediate product, and it is processed at additional technological stages. Thus, this data shows that the presence of prion proteins in the solution is said to be non-existent. To sum up, cerebrolysin is really of special attention among biohackers and nootropic enthusiasts. Its low dosage, absence of toxic effects, mild and long-term duration make it worth considering. It's a safe peptide product that is designed to treat neurological brain conditions. In this video, we've talked about some of the most interesting and relevant facts about cerebrolysin. Its mechanism of action, composition, history, alternatives, how to take, and so on. You can find all references used while preparing for this video in the description. Be sure to subscribe to Cosmic Nootropic channel and hit that like button.